We have already discussed the transcription initiation in eukaryotes in one of the videos linked in the description. Now in this video we will be discussing about the transcription elongation in eukaryotes. First of all we see where the DNA molecule and on that DNA molecule the RNA polymerase is already bound near the Tata box by the help of transcription factors which we have already discussed in the initiation video what kind of transcription factors mediate the binding of RNA polymerase to. Initially it has bound factor D, factor A, factor B and factor F transcription factors. And in here we can see the RNA polymerase 2 has another subunit by the name of CTD that is carboxy terminal domain. It is a heptapeptide sequence repeat. The heptapeptide sequence consists of tyrosine, serine, proline, threonine, serine, proline, serine and then the same sequence repeats. It is these two serine amino acids at second and fifth position that can regulate the elongation through phosphorylation which we will see later on how they regulate the transcription. Now to this RNA polymerase complex another two factors bind that are factor E and factor H. The transcription factor H mediates DNA melting by ATP hydrolysis since it has helicase activity also. So from this event we get the promoter melting. And in this diagram we can see the open form of DNA at promoter. Now we need to move forward this RNA polymerase complex. First of all we get the phosphorylation of CTD at serine 5. And this phosphorylation is done by kinase activity of transcription factor H. And by this CTD serine 5 phosphorylation the about to initiation begins. And yes we are still at the initiation process. So first we get the small mRNA transcript by the about to initiation. mRNA transcripts of about 2 to 15 nucleotides in length are made via about to initiation. But it must be noted here that RNA polymerase second remains unmoved at one site. But here the DNA is pulled down to the RNA channel by transcription factor H and by this way RNA polymerase synthesis small mRNA transcripts until the DNA stretches out and polymerase moves. After that elongation factors start to bind whence we get the serine 5 phosphorylation. So it's from here where from the elongation begins. So when the elongation begins the initiation factors start to leave and only transcription factor F remains bound till the end. Now let's see how these elongation factors bind and regulate the transcription. First we see the DSIF DRB sensitivity inducing factor. It has two subunits HSPT4 and 5 subunit. This factor locks the RNA clamp into the closed state to prevent dissociation of elongation complex. And this HSPT5 subunit helps to reanneal back the upstream DNA. And also note here this DSIF can negatively regulate transcription if it binds NELF factor which we will see later on. Then we have the PTEFB elongation factor. This factor has CDK9 kinase subunit. This CDK9 kinase phosphorylates the CTD at serine 2 position. Here we see it phosphorylates the CTD at serine 2. This PTEFB also phosphorylates the DSIF elongation factor so that it no longer binds NELF, the negative regulator of transcription. So we saw here two kinds of phosphorylation. During the initiation process of transcription, the serine 5 is phosphorylated. But once the elongation starts, once the polymerase starts to move on, the serine 2 is phosphorylated by CDK9. So it is by the CTD subunit of RNA polymerase which regulates the initiation, elongation and also it aids in termination. Then we have another factor that is S2 factor or TF2S. It binds to complex and helps polymerase to bypass the blocks during transcription. So these are the major elongation factors otherwise there are many factors that take part in elongation. Moving forward now when all the elongation factors bind the polymerase moves on template strand from 3' to 5' end and we get the mRNA molecule synthesized in 5' to 3' end as shown in the diagram. And do note that 7 methyl gonosine cap is added co transcriptionally. The capping enzyme is recruited towards the transcription machinery by transcription factor H. 
and also serin 5 phosphorylation stimulates capping enzyme recruitment and spt5 subunit of dsif has been shown to mediate the rna gonylation so during the elongation process the rna tps are polymerized together by rna polymerase 2 to form mrna molecule so this is how transcription elongation takes place in eukaryotes i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up do consider supporting my work on patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel thanks